Hey guys, this is Grace and welcome to my channel and welcome to video number two for the latest 10 handmade cards, one homemade kit. If you're new to my channel or you're new to the series, basically I grab some items from my stash and make 10 handmade cards with it. And so this has been a series that I've been doing for, I don't know, three years now or so, and I've really enjoyed it. I only do it every other month because i do some scrapbook mini series as well so if you like these kinds of videos please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you have any questions make sure that you leave that in the comment section below okay so let's go on to card number six so this one's fairly easy again um, i'm using i'm starting off with a pattern paper base that i have cut with a scallop die that i have been using for almost all of my layouts or sorry all of my cards and um, i'm using some die cuts from a pack from pink fresh studio and that has really helped make this process really go fast go by really fast um, i'm starting off with pretty much a lot of pre-made stuff and it's um cutting my process time um in half or maybe not even in half it maybe in i don't know I'm just cutting a lot of time working on this because of the fact that I, I'm using a lot of pre-made stuff. So if you are crunched with time and you still want to make some handmade Christmas cards, start with some pre-made items like die cuts. Um, I'm also using some critter stickers for this kit and I am using a bunch of dies. Uh, like I said, I am using some My Favorite Things blueprints. I have a circle nesting die that I'm using and I've also pre um stamped and heat embossed some sentiments um i actually didn't use a lot of the sentiments here i think i i used mostly the ones that i've stamped on craft paper um but i still have a lot of the white ones so um that might be some tips for you to um, use for if you want to make some cards in um the holiday season so because most or two of these dies were kind of ornament style i wanted to make a card that looks like there's some ornaments that are hanging on top of my card so i grabbed those two and then i had an, a circle die that i just kind of made as a third ornament and i did punch a tiny hole on the top so that i can have my twine string going through the top and i used my we are memory creepers crop a dial for that and then there is a die that says be merry so that's going to be my sentiment here and then i'm gonna add all of those i'm gonna add fun foam to all of those to make them stand out against my card base i'm kind of picking um kind of a slightly neutral card base here it does have a design but um, it's very subtle so that my my ornaments will stand out against it and it also makes them stand um, the fun film makes them stand out as well and then um, because the circle kind of is a little bit plain i have a black snowflake and i'm going to add that to that circle piece and i'm just peeling off my fun film here and then adding my be merry on the bottom kind of centering them there <clears throat> Now, as you can see, I did not add my card base just yet, or my my paper block to the card base just yet, because I needed the to tuck in those strings on the back. So I'm just using my washi here, and I'm trying to make sure that the strings are straight. The I think the center one wasn't kind of straight, or I know it was the, the circle one. So. Um, I'm, I moved it around just a little bit and I tried to make sure that the strings kind of go in between the scallop, like the, 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 you know how scallops have hills and valleys. And so I try to make sure that the string kind of goes on in the valley section of the, the scallop just so that it will have something to rest on. And um, that's basically it. I will add a few st uh, stickles silver stickles here and there and that's going to do it for my card um, i like that the die cuts um, especially the ornament ones have some kind of gold foiling on there so it adds um an extra oomph already now um one problem that i found with my stickles is because i was storing them um, upright that um i needed to tap them a ton in order for the paint to go right on the nozzle and so i was tapping them a little bit um, on the side uh, 
before so that I can finish the stickle that I was putting on one of the ornaments. And that's card number six. Now we go on to card number seven. And this one's going to be fairly easy again. I am working with the die cuts. And with this one, I had envisioned to create kind of a... Um, a Christmas tree. You know how Christmas trees are kind of, I mean, if you if you think about the Christmas tree, they're kind of a, a triangle, right? That there's the heaviest part on the bottom and then it just gets smaller and smaller as you go on the top. And I thought that I would um, do something like that, but I ended up just kind of making, do, making a kind of stacked um, presence uh, with it, but it's, it's still good. I really like it. And at the um, in the beginning, I wanted to use this like big um, rectangle piece, and then two smaller pieces, and the um, after that, and then the present with kind of a bird on the top. But the two presents just wasn't working. It didn't look like I was um, um, like the the stacking just didn't look good in my eye and so I scrapped one of the boxes and then just went with three and then I had to pull out a few more um, little die cut pieces because that good sheer block had an empty space in the center and I I mean in the side and at first I thought well maybe I can add some critters to it but it will cover up the word I still believe from the middle block so I just added some smaller die cut pieces to that and I really like how it looked now I'm adding some glitter pen to some of the die cuts here and then I believe I will add a few um, red stickles too. Now, I was going really fast with this, and I totally forgot that I still had wet stickles before I turned it over and added some adhesive. But oh well, it's okay. Um, my mat or my, yeah, my, my cutting mat can handle it. Um, and so here's another way that maybe you can use up some really tiny scraps for your card making. Um, in the blueprints, die cut set that I have. Um, it had this really skinny um, die piece that I think it's for sentiments where you can cut sentiments and add notches on the left and right edge of it. And so instead of using that for my sentiment, I just use that for cutting out a bunch of pieces of strips of pattern paper. And I'm going to add that to the back piece of my kind of wood grain beige um, background piece. And so um, I'm not sure if um, I'm doing this centered, but it's centered enough for me. So I'm just going to go with that. Um, at first I was trying to be anal and use my T ruler, but at the end I just, I don't know, I just added a lot of adhesive and then just kind of stacked them one after the other. So that's going to be my background piece. And then I'm adding this circle die or circle cut uh, pattern paper. And then this sleigh with a bunch of um, presents on it. And I will add that with some fun foam. And then I'm going to um, pick one of the gold embossed sentiment and that's going to go on the bottom of the sleigh and then i will add some stickles to it and that's going to be card number eight it's super easy um i would say that if you add all of the hours or minutes that i've used for heat embossing all the sentiments and die cutting all of the the pieces plus actually creating the card i would say this card can be done in an afternoon maybe three to four hours four hours is the max because you have all of the items already um, gathered together so if you're looking to create 10 cards in a matter of an afternoon this might be a good card set as uh, to use as an inspiration okay so we're going to go on to card number nine i can't believe we're on card number nine already so we're we're going to go with kind of a quadrant here and i started off with uh five circles actually because i wasn't sure which one i wanted to use but i'm going to end up using these four now i really like that piece with the christmas tree on the center but um, i ended up getting some of my nail polish on the top of it and so that was kind of annoying me and so i was trying to see if i could maybe cover that up or use the penguin instead but i really really like the christmas trees um, 
centered on that circle. So I'm going to end up using that. And at the end, it would actually work out because um, I will cover the top part with my um, sentiment strip. So that's all going to turn out fine. Now here, um, I'm going to add the three pattern papers in onto the card um, with just the regular tape or sorry, my, my scotch glue and my sorry my ATG kind of adhesive and then I'm adding that die cut that says home for the holidays with some fun foam it is a die cut piece and it has the home and so I thought that I would make that stand out against the card bases now I am just hand kind of eyeballing it and so I will be moving them around just to make sure that they are kind of centered and they have an even spacing in between each other and so now I am looking for other things to add here I'm going to go back to the critter and I remember those two birds that I didn't use for I think it was card number four or card number five I will bring them back over here and I thought that the two will work well now I did say that I like quadra I mean items that are in um, odd numbers but actually in this one I have um, even numbers I have the four circles and then so I thought that the two birds will work well so I'm going to add those there and then um, I needed to add some sentiments but before that I will add some shine to a few things here and I thought that that would um, add just a little bit of bling bling to <laughs> bling bling, a little bit of shine glitter to the card and then I'm kind of additioning some of the sentiments here and I will go with a craft one that says happy Christmas I thought that was a cute sentiment and I'm going to add that to the center of the card and that will help cover up some of that nail polish that I got on that circle piece so that's card number nine and so we're getting close to the end of this um, this video and this series I hope that you like it let me know in the description box below which one's your favorite card it's always um, interesting to me to learn about which one you guys like um, because I don't know I'm just kind of curious we all have different tastes and so I'm kind of curious what you guys like I of all of the cards that I created. I gotta say I really like this set um, because of all the pre-made items that I was able to use. They made the cards just really cute without um, me doing too much effort to it. So I really like that part. I will add some um, stickles to it. I'm going to use three I mean, sorry, I'm going to use red stickles and I'm actually using the dots of the pattern paper as um, kind of my not stencil but um, like I am following the the design of the dots and actually helped make my dots really perfect. So I like that one. So we're on card number 10 and I kind of cheated here a little bit and I pulled out this kind of wavy type die set that I got from Simon Says Stamps and I because I wanted to make a hill and I already made a hill with the circles and I kind of wanted to make a more realistic hill and so I pulled that out of my die set so that, so that wasn't an original product that I pulled out for this particular kit but you know it all works out it's still from my stash it's still something that I didn't um go out and buy just for this particular um, project and because I cut that those pieces with scallop I wanted to make sure that the scallop for those two pattern papers line up with each other so I want to make sure that that's um, that's lined up before I added it onto my white white card base so that's going to be my kind of scenery there and I will add um, some trees here now my trees are not the same I just have one triangle and then one that's you know kind of a, a more realistic tree but it will do and it's still cute because I was able to create a scene so I'm still happy with that now if you like these videos please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and if you are new to my channel and this is the first time that you have seen this 10 handmade cards one homemade kit video please make sure that you check out my playlist on in my YouTube um, channel because um, I have been doing this for about three years now so I have kind of collected a good um, chunk of uh, the series and so you can see the previous themes and um, 
videos that I've created for this particular series in my playlist in my YouTube channel. So um, I'm adding a few more snowflakes in the background just because it looked like it needed it. And then I'm additioning a few sentiments. I will go with the craft just because I feel like the craft makes makes the sentiment stand out a little bit more. So I have a lot of those um, sentiments that are heat embossed with gold. Um, on white cardstock that is left over and that's totally fine because I can totally use that for more card holiday card making in the future and and um, I think I will add uh, I didn't add anything else to the um, cards for that and so here I'm gonna be showing you all of the items that's left over and I have a little place over for that Hey guys, this is Grace and welcome to my channel and welcome to another or the final part of our 10 handmade cards, one homemade kit video for the month of June. And here I'm going to show you what's left over, um, kind of a quick glance at the cards that I made and I actually made three extra cards with this kit. And so let's just get that, um, let, let's get right into it. I'm <laughs> sorry, I am tongue tied today. Anyways, let me show you what is left over. So we have just a few more left of the die cuts and this was an, an open pack. So I'm really excited that I was able to use a lot of it. Of course, it's just this is just gonna go back into my stash. Um, so stickles, I told you that if it doesn't work, I'm gonna throw it away. So I found that the silver one still works pretty well and so is the green, but the red, I had a hard time. I can feel that there's still stuff in there, but it keeps on clogging. So that's just gonna go in the trash and this one is going to go back in my stash okay and then I did use both of these um, embossing powders to heat emboss my sentiments but I only actually used um, a few of them but I have them all heat embossed and stamped so that could be used for another project or some more cards in the future now as far as the stickers remember I told you that I wanted to use a lot of the image stickers from this particular paper pack from Echo Park this particular sticker sheet had a few critters in there that I wanted to use. And um, these is what these are what's left over of the sticker sheet. I'm super happy about that. Of course, I'm gonna see if I can use this in scrapbook layout since it doesn't have any more critters. But let me tell you, using the critters made a fast layouts and be they're super adorable so i'm thinking i'm gonna have to do that again what do you guys think let me know in the description box below if you want me to do another video or a set of cards with critters using sticker critters instead of like you know coloring them because i really love the look of them but i am not very good at coloring let's just face that that is not my strong suit as far as crafting and so i really love how i can do that incorporate that without all the fuss so the these are all the, the stickers that are left. And then here are, like I said, the um, heat embossed sentiments. Oh, I guess there's nothing there left. Um, and so I have a lot more of the whites and then the craft, I only have two left. Now the craft, I of course did it on red just to make it stand out a little bit more. And then the gold, I did it on white. Now, here are all of the papers that's left over. I know, right? I feel so successful. So these, of course, are gonna go in the trash. There's really, really no reason for me to keep it, even if the big ones, I mean, the biggest one is this size. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not, but um, I'm probably just gonna toss it. And so next time, I can't remember what kind of formula or specific number of six by six I had, but I think I'm gonna look back on my previous video and see how many I had and kind of have that in the back of my mind as a good formula for these 10 handmade cards because I like that I don't have a lot of leftovers left. All right, so um, of course the stamp is gonna go back in my stash. Um, all the die cuts or the dies are gonna go back in my stash. Um, what else is here? Oh, I have one extra card base because I did make three more cards. And then the container for the die cut will go in the trash. And what's interesting is I never got to cut my gold. For some reason I forgot about it, but it's okay because I still love the way the cards turned out. So here are some, um, a uh, quick share of the cards that I made. There's that, and this one, this one. If you're new to my channel or this is the first time that you're seeing this, there is a part one of the video, and make sure that you check that out. 
and then here is another one actually this is my very first one and again it's my favorite and that's that and here's and then these are the three that I made extra there's that one and this has pictures at the end of this video as well as this one and finally this one okay if you have any questions make sure that you leave it in the comment section below i hope that you guys like these videos if you do please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and i will catch you guys in another video bye